we've made preparations for the rule of three. So we're ready. Um, you've, you've got your water, you've got your shelter, you've got your first aid supplies, and you've got your food. And so those life-threatening situations are, are taken care of. Um, and now we need to put our energy on the supplies we're going to need just to get through those three days. Um, <clears throat> some ideas of what to put in your kit to accommodate that. And the first thing, um, I've got here a bunch of Ziplocs of different categories of things that you might want to consider to put in your, your kit. And the first thing I want to talk about is probably should have been under shelter because the shelter is to preserve your body heat, but you also need a way to produce heat to keep you warm <laughs> in those conditions. And so some way to start a fire, um, whether that's a, a Bunsen burner, um, of course you've got matches, a butane lighter, um, whether it's dryer lint or uh, a little candle, um, flint and steel, some t I mean, maybe even a magnifying glass, maybe a smaller version than this, but some way to create heat. Um, you might want to carry fuel if it's a really compact or if you have some way of doing that, but chances are you'll, you'll be able to find fuel. Another category would be lighting. And of course, the typical tool for lighting is, is just a flashlight. Um, there's also light sticks and candles and lanterns and, and all kinds of things out there. Consider what type of supplies you want for lighting. In those three days, you're going to have to use the restroom. And if you are not at home and there's not a public facilities, you're going to have to make accommodations for that. And so you want to be prepared um, with something for that, like baby wipes, having some baby wipes, or um, toilet paper, always a plus. <clears throat> Garbage bags. If you have to make a deposit in it, or if you have to clean up deposits that have been made, garbage bags are essential. And then having chemicals, the, you know, the chemicals that they use for the RVs um, helps break down that paper material, and having that would do a good job at um, preventing further <laughs> complications from bad bacteria. So um, you're going to want that. Also along that line, some sanitation is cleaning. You're going to want to be able to clean. So whether it's paper towels, um, napkins, a washcloth, soaps, hand sanitizer, something like that to to keep things clean, keep your surfaces clean, keep you clean. And then also in that category, remember we're no longer in the survival. Um, I don't think that toothpaste and shampoo are <laughs> great essentials in your emergencies, but it does help with the emotional psyche, you know, the deal with things. So your sanitary supplies, um, any of those toiletries, keep just put in there what you can or what you need to help you feel like you're able to cope with whatever you're having to face with. Another important thing is some type of communication, uh, whether it's a little battery operated uh, radio so that you can hear what's going on, uh, pad and paper so that you can write messages, or a whistle that you can communicate you're lost and they, they can't hear you. So some type of communication is a good idea. And I'm sure that's very noisy. Um, another thing is you'll probably want some type of binders, um, whether you need to attach something or repair something or uh, create something, I don't know. But having some type of cord or rope would be beneficial, even if it's just to hang your clothes on. It would be good. Um, and then duct tape. I know this is the wrong color for duct tape, but it is duct tape. And then maybe electrician's tape. Having those binders to deal with whatever the emergency is. The next category would be tools. This is your garage in your pack. Um, we don't know what you're going to be doing during that three days, but there might be some work that has to be done, whether you have to dig something or someone out or um, you have to cut down firewood or what whatever it is you're going to need some tools so in here we've got tools for turning off gas lines um, extra batteries a compass I've even got a fish line so you can go fishing you need those tools a hatchet 
shovel, um, a solar charger, just the tools that you might need in, in case of an emergency. Another category would be money. Um, don't know if you'll need money, but if you do, it's better to have it packed than not. So it's best to have in coins so you can do exact change. Um, because if all you have is a hundred dollar bill, you're only buying one thing. <laughs> so um, I've got a roll of quarters and, and several smaller bills for that purpose. And one thing you need to remember is that if you're in an emergency, you're either dealing with crisis during those three days or you're bored out of your mind because you don't have any occupation. And so bringing some um, time consumers would be a good idea. And in this one, I've got, of course, little scriptures, um, <clears throat> all kinds of study material. We've got first aid procedures and the backcountry, backcountry skills. So that would be a good thing to study. Study the Constitution, um, field guides so that you can, I don't know, maybe look for edible plants. I don't know what you need. And of course, a deck of cards something to keep you occupied. For kids, you might include puzzles or coloring books or something just to keep them focused and, and have something to do. And the last category I have is um, your family records. You don't know if you're going to have to be relocated or if your house burnt down and you don't have those records anymore. You want to have a copy in your kit so that you can access those if you need to. Um, I have this, which has a selection of records, front and back. It's pedigree charts, patriarchal blessings, birth certificates, marriage certificates, um, social security cards, insurance information, and things like that. And sadly, as I was going through my kit, I discovered that I had already done this with a smaller version. So, it's embarrassing, but I did. And it also has a list of numbers, addresses, and uh, people that you want to contact if there's an emergency so that you can communicate with them that you're okay or what your needs are. So that's an option. Um, if you don't want to make those portable copies, um, just, filling out, sorry, just filling out just in case information and list all of that pertinent information that you need, the account numbers, the passwords, um, the insurance information, financial information, all of those those information, even funeral arrangements. So just in case information. And of course, the easiest and most compact would be um, putting all that information on a thumb drive. Um, pending there's access to a computer, <laughs> but is definitely the smallest and easiest way to put in your kit. So that is probably some categories that you need to include just to get through the three days that is not life-threatening.